What's good YouTube, Bosco Mitchell back again with another video. Today we're talking about some upcoming releases for basketball sneakers from 2023 and 2024. Stay tuned, watch all the way to the end. Hit the like button and give me your feedback. Without further ado, let's get into these sneakers, you dig? First up, let's talk about the New Balance Coco CG1 Twisted Net. Although this is a tennis shoe, it very much so could be a basketball shoe as well. This colorway was inspired by the tennis net, but with an artistic spin to it. This shoe comes in black, electric jade, and white. As you can see, it has a black base with electric jade and white hints all over the shoe. I like this colorway, and like I said, it's a tennis shoe, but it looked like it could be out there on the court as well. Next up, we got some new images of the Adidas Harden Volume 8, retailing for 160 bucks, but not dropping till 2024. No official images, materials, or tech specs of the Harden Volume 8 have been released. However, it is said that this will have a similar neoprene booty construction as the Harden Volume 7. This basketball shoe is locked in by a molded shell that will be seen in many different colorways as we've seen with previous James Harden sneakers. It is also said that both toe cap overlay and cushioning will remain similar to what's on the Harden Volume 7. Overall, from the images that you've seen of this Harden Volume 8, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Next up, let's talk about the ABP Nike LeBron 20 Fam U dropping June 2nd for a retail price of 200 bucks. These will have two different colorways and both of them are definitely fire. Both colorways of the FAMU ABP Nike LeBron 20 will feature a reptile textured upper with snakeskin textured and tumbled leather double stack swooshes on the lateral side. Other details include the all points bulletin the boss text on the right tongues nodding to the school. Then you also have greens exposed stitching A&M heel patches which I like a lot on the shoe. Along with FAMU snake and ABP's logo stamped onto the insoles. Very dope touch. One pair comes dressed in a peach cream safety orange stadium green coconut milk and black while the other comes in a coconut milk electric algae vivid orange sesame mecca green and phantom color blocking both of these are definitely dope of the two colorways which one are you guys liking most both of them are retailing for 200 bucks i would probably have to go with the orange one but both of these are a win 10 out of 10 in my personal opinion, I'm really liking the LeBron 20s. Next up, let's talk about the Nike Zoom LeBron Next Gen in the ghost green colorway dropping June 1st for a retail price of $160. These feature a ghost green mesh base with a black pebble grain leather on a tongue tab, heel clip, and medial These overlay. These also have a blue pebble leather swoosh on a lateral with a 3D style swoosh underneath, while a pink leather swoosh is used on the medial side, LBJ branding on the tongues. I like this shoe. Shoe. the color combination is on point let me know overall what do you think about the lebron next gen and what do you think about this colorway rated from a 1 to 10 160 dollars is not a bad price point considering the tech you get for them and like i said i tried them on before and they feel great on feet next i want to talk about the air jordan 37 low eybl dropping june 2023 for a retail price of 195 dollars first i'd like to say i like the fact that the eybl colorway is releasing in stores and this air jordan 37 low is definitely impressive with some fire colorways and this is definitely one along with the lebron 20 nike jaw one jordan brand has designed a special edition of the air jordan 37 low which is the eybl and i'm liking it it's coming crinton post green glow laser orange crinton tint and lava i think this is a pretty dope color scheme for this jordan 37 low as i said probably three times already there will be special details such as the eybl branding on the left tongue peach graphic insoles and special hang tag these will be available in men's sizing only do you see yourself grabbing these to hoop in this summer let me know your thoughts about these in the comments next below. up let's talk about the boy lamello ball him and Puma is coming with some more heat and we're gonna talk about a few shoes and silhouettes coming from him within the next few weeks to months to next year let's go ahead and jump into it the first one I want to talk about drops May 26th for a retail price of $130 we have the Puma MBO2 whispers think this colorway is dropping at the right time it features frost ivory and puma black as a color scheme other features the engineered mesh upper and tongues with the breathability with the tpu heel clip i like this shoe we definitely reviewed them before let me know if you guys are a fan of the mbo 2s and what do you guys think about this colorway i think that frost ivory and not just white it's kind of like a sale with the puma black is just different and it's perfect for the summertime hoops out there let me know what you think about this color this next colorway is the puma 
NBO2 Oreo, which does not have an official release date, but will retail for $130. As you can see, this comes in a black and white color scheme. It has a black dominant upper with white accents. I'm really impressed by the speckled midsole as well. Almost a galaxy star feel. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway overall. No official release date, so it will be hitting the stores pretty soon. And how do you like this compared to the Frost Ivory? Next up, we have a new colorway. This colorway is by far different and may be the best colorway of all the MBO2 colorways. I want to know what you guys think about that in the comments below. This is the Puma MBO2 BU. I definitely like the way that this one came out compared to the MBO1, but that's just my opinion. Shout out to Rootkicks for the images. Let me know if you guys would pick this up and add to your collection, or is it just too colorful and too much going on? Give me your thoughts and opinion, of course, in the comment section below. To be honest, I thought we were done with this silhouette, but then I forgot about the MBO2 lows. There are definitely some colorways to look forward to, and here are a couple we're going to talk about. This is the triple white MBO2 low. No official release date, but they will drop within the next few weeks, more than likely during the summer in June or July. Let me know what you guys think about the triple white colorway of the MBO2 low. Then we also have this colorway, which is pretty interesting in itself. This MBO2 takes the cake by all the colorways I've seen thus far. This is rumored to be called the imbalance colorway. Either way, it's 10 out of 10, one of a kind. I would love to see what it looks like in person from these images in front of you. Let me know what you guys rate this shoe and would you guys pick this up if you had the opportunity. No official release dates, but as soon as I find out, I definitely will let you guys know. So stay tuned for that. As you can see, there's still plenty to look forward to when it comes to the MBO2 and MBO3, but now we have some more news, a new alert. We got some leaked images of the Puma MBO3. Now, if you like this type of content and you want me to keep adding links, make sure you guys hit the like button as well. But here we go. The MBO3 is coming out in a few colorways. We have the La France, we have the Toxic, we have the Heels. All three of those are looking pretty crazy. I'm looking forward to really seeing what the laboratory colorway looks like in hand. And then we also have another one at the bottom that looks pretty interesting as well. It's called the Hive. Of these colorways, let me know which ones you guys are looking forward to the most. Out the gate, they coming back to back with another banger for this MBO3. This green colorway is something that I saw first. This is actually the first colorway of the these ones that we've been seeing let me know which ones you guys like the most and once i get more detailed images i will definitely bring it to the table give me your thoughts hit that like button let's go from one great point guard to the next let's go ahead and talk about the nike air max penny one in the lester middle school colorway these will be dropping later this he's coming black white and octa yellow with black being the dominant color as you have white and octa yellow hints i like this color scheme i'm a big fan of the air max penny one want to see what this colorway actually looks like in person to see if i I will pull the trigger 180 is a little steep but it's a very classic shoe for hooping or casual wear let me know if this is a penny that you will be adding to your collection of course in the comment section below. next up we have images of a new donovan issue shoe the don issue 5 which you got a glimpse of around all-star weekend they have a few more colorways that might potentially drop let me know what you guys think about this shoe overall from the images that you're seeing these are said to come constructed with a mesh upper perforated overlays and suede and nubuck toe cap let me know what you guys think about the look of the Don Issue 5. I've said before that I think this is the best silhouette from him by far, but I want to see what it looks like in hand. Give me your thoughts in the comments below. We recently got news of Anthony Edwards' debut sneaker. Let me know what you guys think about these images that we're about to look at. It definitely looks futuristic, and I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. As you can see, it does have that three-stripe branding on the back. It gives me a Yeezy vibe. I'm not really sure how I feel about it once again. They look very futuristic, but it looks like something kind Kanye made and maybe it's just a cut down model of it. Just my personal opinion. Of course, state yours down below in the comments. Next up, we have some new leaked images of more colorways of the Jordan Luka 2. Now this one right here is fire. It looks like it should be an all-star colorway, but I don't know. Once I get more details, I'll let you know about that. And then we got this teal colorway that's definitely fire. I've seen maybe four different colorways of the Luka 2 and each colorway is looking on point and this model looks like it's an upgrade from the previous one. This is actually called the Tropical Twist. It comes in Tropical Twist, Metallic Gold, Washed Teal, and Barley Green as the colors do come constructed with a mix of semi-transparent mesh, suede, and leather material. As you can see, it does feature Luca's logo on each of the tongues. It does have a speckled detailing on the midfoot shank, which I do like. And then they do come equipped with the ISO plate support and Formula 23 cushioning as they've been using on Luca's shoes. Let me know what you guys think about this Twist colorway or the previous colorway. Which 
talked about. Now I want to get into a few shoes that we can look forward to in 2024 that are going to be bangers. These are definitely some basketball shoes you might want to pick up the hoop in or wear for casual. First up, we got the Nike Air Foam Posit 1 Eggplant, which originally released in 2000. Then returned in 2017 as a part of the celebration of the anniversary of the original Foam Posit. And now once again in 2024, the Foam Posit Eggplant is coming back out. If you didn't know, these come in black, varsity purple as the color scheme. The varsity purple that hits on the black is just crazy. The eggplant colorway is definitely one of a kind, one of the best foam posits that had released in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about the eggplant colorway and what does it rank among all the other foam posits. Also dropping next year in the spring of 2024, both of these will retail for 240 bucks. We got the anthracite colorway of the foam posit. Now this one is definitely dope too. Of course that molded black foam shell is something that's one of a kind. Black and anthracite is the color scheme. Let me know if you guys are feeling the anthracite colorway or eggplant colorway. 240 is the new retail price. They're starting to go up slowly and slowly. And that's the part of the reason why they haven't been added as much to my collection. But I am a foam posit head and collector. If you are one too, shout it out in the comments below. But let me know what you think about the eggplant or anthracite colorway. Also in 2024, we got some heat coming from Nike and Kobe with the Kobe 8 Radiant Emerald. This one is definitely different. I want to see when the official images drop, but this is a little feature two tones of white and radiant emerald as the color scheme with white as the base and emerald as the accents on the swoosh, inner lining, laces, rubber outsole. I'm not mad at this Kobe. Once we get better images, I will share them. Let me know if you guys will be grabbing this for your personal collection or to resell. It will also come constructed with an engineered mesh upper with non-sewn synthetic overlays and pebble grain leather around the collar and heels. And then there's also a court purple colorway that will feature the two-tone white and court purple color scheme. Both of these are gonna be interesting. I think the court purple might look a little better. Personally, I think I like the court purple better. Once we get more images, of course, we will share them. But give me your thoughts and opinions of these Kobe's, the Kobe 8 in the comment section below. Next, let's get into some heat for 2024 from the latest Nike lifer, Kevin Durant. First, let's talk about the Nike KD4 Year of the Dragon 2.0 dropping during the spring of 2024 for a retail price of $130. Back in 2012, Kevin Durant and Nike Basketball released the Year of the Dragon KD4, celebrating the Chinese Zodiac sign, the Year of the Dragon. For the 2024, the celebration continues with a new version of the silhouette, which is deemed the Year of the Dragon 2.0, dropping in the spring of 2024. No official images, only mock-ups of what this shoe will look like but it's said to come in khaki noble red sesame cacao wow and gum yellow as the color scheme these are said to have a khaki base with noble red sesame and cacao wow accents throughout the shoe you can also expect the kd logo on the tongues heels with a special detailing nodding to the year of the dragon available in men's sizing of course let me know if you guys will be picking the next up we got the nike kd4 galaxy also dropping during the spring of 2024 for a retail price of 130 dollars as well it's coming metallic silver total orange and dark gray as the color scheme the galaxy colorway is one of a kind a lot of people did like the kd4 galaxy it will look pretty much just like the original pair having the metallic silver synthetic leather upper of course inspired by the flight suits worn by the astronauts other details include the nasa inspired mission patch on the tongues the dark gray embroidered ad branding on the heel black star speckled midsole with the glow in the dark outsole very dope touch of the shoe and very classic these will come in a special box for men's sizing as well let me know if you guys will be picking up this kd4 as you can see there's a lot to look forward to during the spring of 2024 when it comes to basketball shoes around all the brands of the selection i've showed in this video up to 2024 releases what are you looking forward to the most now let's go ahead and get back to some stuff dropping in 2023 next up dropping may 25th 2023 for a retail price of 110 bucks is the nike jaw one hunger now this colorway is definitely by far one of the best in my opinion coming in the game royal black university red photo blue blue crimson and vivid orange color scheme you just can't go wrong with that now these jaw ones are slightly different from the others because these come with mismatched shoes one shoe is game royal the other is university red which i do like they feature a mesh build with reinforced midfoot then you also have the wraparound nike swooshes which is pretty dope you also have the signature jaw logo branding on the shoe as well overall from a one to ten i would give this color 
colorway, a nine and a half, maybe a 10. Once we see it in person, I'll get a better look at it. But overall, with all the controversy, let me know what you guys think about the Jaw 1 heavy hoop in them and let me know if you guys will be grabbing this colorway next i want to talk about the air jordan 37 dog dance street ball celebration colorway this one is definitely unique and one of the better air jordan 37s that i've seen in a long time these retail for 185 dollars and they will come out in men's and grade school sizing as well as i said earlier these are celebrating the annual chinese street ball tournament the dog dan tournament in beijing which is a pretty exciting situation if you see some of the videos on youtube the competition is definitely on point overall this air jordan 37 colorway representing the dog dance street ball celebration is fire one to ten scale i would give it a solid eight let me know if you guys will be trying to get your hands on this colorway in the comments below next up we got images of the nike kd3 light silver which remembers kd's time in okc unlike the kd4s these do drop this year later in the fall for a retail price of 130 bucks he's coming in a light silver blue jay stream mineral spruce metallic copper and blue jay color scheme definitely one of a kind and i do like this kd3 overall it's a good hoop and shoe and this colorway is on point and 130 is not bad for a nike basketball shoe for the next few weeks in 2023 going on down the line we got some heat to look forward to when it comes to basketball sneakers and then you see there's a lot to look forward to when it comes to spring of 2024 which i'm excited about no telling what else is going to be added to the lineup but of all these basketball shoes here, name maybe three to five sneakers that you guys think you might want to add to your collection. Give me all the feedback in the comment section below. Hit that like button. It's your boy Bosco, Bosco 2.0. I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.